Hello everyone, this is Chris, and I'm back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing off um, Alpha Launcher, a tool for Scarble Space Program 2 that automatically can download mods and also install the Space Warp mod loader. Um, so I'm going to be showing the I'm going to be showing you how it works. So this right here is my Kerbal Space Program 2 folder for Steam, and as you can see there, I don't have a Space Warp folder. Uh, because I already have Space Warp installed, I have some of the other files for it, but what I can do is if I just move that to one part of the screen, and I wait for um, Alpha Launcher to load, it will uh, load. What it's currently doing right now is it's getting all of the mods from Space Dock. Um, it's currently a little bit unoptimized, so it takes a while. However, <clears throat> this is what it looks like whenever you open up the tool. I'm dragging that off to the side, and I'm just going to be installing Space Warp first there, and the file, the files will be added there. You can see that our Space Warp has been installed, and the mods folder is also there. Um, one thing which has to be noted is the version of Alpha Launcher that I currently have does not have a working deletion or like remove selected feature um, or and also it doesn't work with some of the mods listed here however I am planning to fix that once it becomes like a big issue or after I even record this, idi uh, this video I plan on um, fixing that but I just wanted to make this demonstration video real quickly. So as you can see here, the mods folder is completely empty. But let's just say I wanted to download the Cheats Menu mod and Lazy Orbit. What I could do is I could click Install Selected, and it'll give me these little pop-up windows here. And it will download that. And I'll do the same for Lazy Orbit. There we go. Um, for some reason, Cheats Menu. So this is one of the mods that doesn't really... Oh, that's a weirder what I get. Huh. Live bug testing. <laughs> okay, let's try to install a different mod. As I said, this is a little bit broken in some cases. I don't know why Lazy Orbit did not work. You know what, let's try a better parts manager. Sure, why not? There we go. Those two mods installed. And then I also have a launch KSP button on which we'll launch Carbal Space Program 2. And then if we open up, or if we wait for it to load real quickly, all the mods should appear. So you go down and lower the volume so I'm a little bit more audible. There we go, now if we go to mods, as you can see here, we have Cheat Menu and Kerbal Part Manager um, both loaded into the game. So that is the Alpha Launcher tool. All of the code is available here on the GitHub page. I'll leave that linked in the description. Uh, Python or program.py has all of the file or has is the main file for the mod. And then there is the download. Uh, for some reason, GitHub, I just don't think I uploaded the file correctly. Still says that 3.0.3 or .3 is the latest version, but uh, currently it is 0 0.4. I'll leave that linked into the, uh, I'll leave that linked in the description. Um, plus also I want to know if you see like the mod list that is no longer needed. You know, I'm just going to edit that real quickly. Uh, there we go. Cool. Update release. There we go. But that will be the end of this short demonstration of Alpha Launcher. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you leave a like. And if you hated it, then, you know, leave a dislike. But no one will see it. So, you know, thanks, YouTube. It's already been like a year since that change got added. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.